campaign, we've done plenty of outside broadcasts in different constituencies. We've tried to get the candidates for each constituency to come and speak to us. They're not done very well in Bradford West, if we're honest. The, the Conservative candidate declined to speak to us. Labour couldn't speak to us either. But here are what the candidates we did manage to speak to say about immigration. First of all, we want to make sure that our local workforce has the skills that it needs in order to, to fill the vacancies that are, that, that are in, this, uh, this in, in, in our country. So that means setting up national centers of expertise so that our workforce is equipped to, for example, uh, work in the renewable energy sector and, and become a powerhouse for the, for the continent and delivering renewable energy. Uh, green uh, can be a better alternative where we uh, think that we need to have a, a, a greener pair of policy that works for all in the interest of UK and also make sure that we are uh, treating uh, those migrants who are looking to join the UK uh, so they can have a happy home or uh, make sure that it works for our interest too. And my thought on immigration is that we should welcome immigration and we should welcome it through a compassionate approach. Uh, for Bradford West itself, of course, Bradford West has its rich history uh, of industry and textiles. Uh, and that all came about, of course, and developed through the immigration um, after the wars. Um, I, I certainly do believe that immigration contributes to our society and our industry and will help and boost our economic growth at Bradford West. And that can only be done through welcoming everyone. Immigration, of course, a really big topic that all the leaders are being asked when they come on visits to, to see different constituencies. Here's what some of the leaders of the parties have been saying about immigration today. 